my name's Lail. Today's my birthday, and my life fucking sucks. My life fucking my life sucks. sucks. My life fucking sucks. My life is fucking over. The whole world is against me because I'm trying to follow my dreams. My life is fucking over. <sighs> Lail, please stop and have a sip of water, maybe while you're watching this video. Lael Hansen is a very successful YouTuber who mysteriously disappeared from the internet for an entire year, only for her to return as a full-blown musician who decided to put her YouTube career behind her. She didn't tell anyone why she left or if she would ever return to being a normal YouTuber. Instead, she posted a bunch of random TikToks with reversed audio and tried to write cryptic messages on her wall, hoping the fans would decode them and stay interested in her music rollout. I made this Curious Case of Lel Hansen video where I unpacked all of this information and boiled it down to just, this is all probably a marketing stunt. About a month after my video, she finally released an update where she said that her YouTube career was taking a toll on her because she constantly had to pretend to be happy. And that made her dislike the person that she was becoming. In 2019, I was living in an endless cycle of chasing views every single day and faking a smile until I didn't recognize the person that I saw in the mirror. Fair enough. She then said that being a full-time musician was making her happy, but all of her songs are about being depressed and alone. This is what had me confused because faking being happy for YouTube was making her depressed, but making a bunch of sad songs and being depressed is making her happy. Anyways, the cryptic messaging and spooky, scary TikToks were not helping her market her music, and most people were just calling her a Billie Eilish clone. But despite the negative comments, the first few songs were getting really good video views and streams, and they were good songs. But she decided to be a little bit more upfront with her intentions. Okay guys, so I just made this song, and I'm literally gonna cry because I think it is my favorite song I've ever written. Oh my god. Okay, I didn't actually want to cry. <laughs> um, but it's not 100% done yet, and I really would love to ask you guys' opinion. And the comments on this are mostly positive. Now, the views are a little bit low, but people respected the genuineness and the openness and the honestness of her promoting her music. In fact, these six or so TikToks she posted are generally well accepted. A few Billie Eilish clone comments here and there, but for the most part, she was getting really good feedback from her audience, but she had to ramp it up. And 14.7 million views later, people were not happy about it. My life fucking sucks. I'm an artist from the middle of nowhere. I've never gotten lucky or had any overnight success because I refuse to sell my soul. My life is pretty boring, but I know my music is special and my videos are gonna win a Grammy. The only thing I don't have is a friend because my best friend, who I thought was my biggest fan, turned out to be my biggest hater. I don't need her though because hopefully I have you. Let's prove her wrong by blowing this shit up, sharing with everyone and getting our song to 10,000 pre-saves by my birthday in five days. When our song goes platinum, I'll look back at the pre-saves and remember you, a real friend that changed my life. But for now, my life fucking sucks. So yeah, pretty cringe. But to be honest, it's not the format of the TikTok that's cringe. Asking people or begging people to stream your music has been a thing on TikTok for a very long time. And in fact, I've even done this. What if DJ Khaled made an album with a bunch of fire upcoming artists instead of the mega famous ones? Oh wait, I did that. Eight months ago, I was mad at the music industry. There are all these talented upcoming artists and nobody gives them any recognition. Now I'm a YouTuber with a decent sized audience, so I figured, why not use my platform to try to promote underground talent? But I need your help. I've never released music before, so there's a chance this album totally flops and I get the Billboard Triple Aluminum Foil Award. You can help us reach our goal of 10,000 pre-saves on Spotify by going to the link in my bio and clicking that one little button to pre-save. It only takes 10 seconds, I promise. If we do this, we can shock the music industry and show them where the real talent is. The difference is I didn't lie about my story or try to guilt trip people into streaming my music. I was just straight up about exactly what I was trying to do. And if you don't have a good enough story or an interesting reason as to why people should stream your song other than you just being another artist on TikTok trying to blow up and be famous, then maybe you should try to find a different way to get people's attention. Lael is trying to uplift herself by putting down others, which never works. Saying that Lil Nas X sold his soul, or the Kid Leroy had overnight success, or that Dixie D'Amelio is simply just lucky and maybe not talented. And look, it's fine to say those things independently. 
you're entitled to your own opinion. But don't try to throw shade on others just to shed light on yourself. It's also just the blatant lies. Being from the middle of nowhere, when she lives just outside of Vancouver, Canada, which has a population of 2.5 million people, and also disregarding her 1 million subscriber fan base that was genuinely supporting the first few songs she uploaded. And yeah, maybe your life is boring based on the standard of a famous artist who's touring all over the world and going to the Met Gala, but for the average person, you make a full-time living on the internet and you've had a very successful full-time internet career for the past three years. And you clearly have some sort of funding to be able to pay for all these really expensive and extremely high budget music videos. So saying that your life sucks makes you seem like you're extremely ungrateful and it doesn't make people wanna support you. And out of all the research I've done on Lail, I genuinely don't think that this represents who she is as a person. I believe her intentions are good, she's just totally going about this the wrong way. However, it doesn't stop there because Lael knows what she's doing. And instead of just addressing these things head on and saying, okay, man, that was totally cringy TikTok. Yeah, I embellished my life a little bit. She's just leaning into the hate and making it about now the whole world is against me because I'm trying to follow my dream. My life is over. I'm an artist from the middle of nowhere and I just released my new song, My Life is Boring. The whole world is against me because I'm trying to follow my dreams. No, Lail. They're against you because you're blatantly lying and trying to get pity streams about a fake story. And instead of trying to own up to the bullshit, she just relentlessly promotes her music one TikTok after another like there isn't just an angry mob of comments violently not supporting this. Now, if all of this work and the hate was generating her millions of streams, I'd probably say, you know what? Do you. But 228,000 Spotify streams is not enough to justify the whole internet hating you. Neither is this like to dislike ratio on your newest video. I mean, it works for somebody like Takashi69. Despite the whole internet hating him, he still has a massive fan base that will generate millions of streams. But Lail, please do not go down this road. The whole, everyone hates me, but I'm going to stick it out for the few people that love me, is just you setting yourself up for a miserable life and a miserable career. The anti-hero arc just never works. And her music isn't bad. I was actually very impressed with the first couple of songs. But this behavior on TikTok just makes people want to hate it. You are portraying yourself as somebody who's very unlikable. And if this is the real you, then maybe you are just unlikable, but I just have a hard time believing that's true. It's like you're trying to gaslight people into liking you and your music, which obviously never works. Gaslighting doesn't work for anything unless you're in a toxic relationship and you want control over that person. Which in those relationships, the person is very manipulative. And if you're in one of those, you should probably get out of it so in this perspective we would be in a toxic relationship with you as a musician and we probably shouldn't listen to your music because of it <laughs> that was kind of confusing but what i'm trying to say is that your music has too much potential for you to go down this road you have a big enough fan base where if you actually make something that gets stuck in their heads and it's something that's really good the snowball effect will occur They'll listen to it, they'll stream it, it'll get algorithmic plays, and eventually you'll get the millions of streams and success that you so desire. So the focus needs to be on making something that's incredibly good and that people can't stop listening to. And don't say it can't work because I spent the same amount of effort as you relentlessly promoting my track called Black Hole Sun, but doing it in a more upfront and honest way. And 1.6 million streams later, it's still performing really well. And it isn't too late to just be upfront and honest with people. Just tell them that you heavily embellished your story and your life situation because you believed in your music so much. And that you thought guilt tripping and making a sob story would trigger an emotional response from people and in return they would stream your music because that maybe they could relate to your I'm um, so down bad story. And if you do this, Lael, you might have a chance to reverse the damage that has already been done. Yeah, she's always gonna have the Billie Eilish clone type of haters and hate comments. That's just not gonna go away. But people on the internet are not stupid. If she opens up to the fact that she's kind of capping a little bit, she just embraces the large fan base that she already has. She just works on making really, really good music that's undeniable. She could have a very successful music career. I do believe that. But I want to know what you think, so definitely leave a comment. Helps your boy get some algorithm love. Subscribe if you're new. And just so you know, I will be uploading new videos every Tuesday at 3 p.m. Eastern. Mark your calendars. And maybe every Saturday or so often, I'll throw a bonus video in there. And if you want to see fun, less serious, happy 
whatever goofy type videos, that'll be on my second channel called Pat CC. And of course, just drink water.